Welcome to Gadget Class. Today we're working with an eye gauging Origin Cal, Absolute Origin Digital Caliper. This is the caliper that won the roundup of seven different digital calipers. And today we're going to show you how you can quickly and easily use the data cable or SPC cable to do some uh, quick CAD work and data entry. It actually uses the same data input cable that Mitutoyo uses, um, so you can interchange the two cables. First thing you need to do is go ahead and plug in your data cable. Windows will detect it as a standard HID driver and install a basic generic driver. You don't need a fancy driver for it. And what I'm going to recreate for you today here is this uh, little socket cap screw. Pretty simple. I'll just show you how fast you can do it. So once your driver is installed, just open up your favorite CAD program. I'm using NX here. And we'll start with a circle. It's asking for our diameter. Measure. Input. There's our circle. Finish sketch. Extrude. And here we're going to put in the actual length of our socket. So we'll measure that. Enter. There we go. Alright, another sketch. Circle. Diameter. This will be our thread diameter. Like so. Extrude, and here we'll input our actual thread body length. Enter, and that's done. There's our basic shape. Let's come over here to the back. Sketch. And we'll do a hex. Alright, so it's asking for a radius. So what we'll do is we'll measure the total width of the hex. And then we'll divide that by 2. So we're going to go ahead and input there. And we'll come over here and put a slash two, zero, and there's our hex. All right, now we simply extrude that. And this is going to be a subtract. And our value is going to be Like so. Make sure it's in the right direction. Like so. Okay. So there's our basic shape. Uh, now we can just do some simple edge blends here. Okay, there's our basic shape there. Alright, All right, now we just throw some threads on there.
Go ahead and hide our edge blade and chamfer. And we're going to thread. That's not the proper thread, but it gives you the idea. And there we go. How long did that take? Five minutes to recreate that object in CAD using data input. I really like that. Now let's switch over to a spreadsheet and I'll tell you the I'll show you the kind of stuff I've been doing to get the average data sets for all these digital calipers. Basically what I did is I measured um, each object at set points along the measuring faces to get a total variance across the entire measuring face. And uh, I, I have a giant spreadsheet where I did this, but I blew this one up for the video. Hopefully you can see that okay. But you can just start there in any field and you just come in here. So do this around the camera there. So this is full depth measurement. measurement. If you want, you can redo it every time. And then I would move down to the next data point. Next data point. I'm kind of going fast. I was taking a lot more time when I was doing the actual test here. This is just for example. So that's a pretty good average there, and then we'll just uh, average this whole thing out. Our actual average was uh, zero. So basically, that's that gives you an idea. Basically, look at all those numbers I inputted in you know less than a minute or two. Uh, basically, makes data entry entry pretty simple, pretty easy, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm pretty much uh, happy with the data input. I like that feature. Make sure you watch the full video roundup review video and uh, all the other videos in the series as well.